Welcome to our Real Talk uh, weekdays. <clears throat> Real Talk is just another segment where we talk about uh, the bike industry and uh, it's an opportunity for us to answer some of the questions that our subscribers usually send us. And uh, one of the most timely questions that we normally get from, from our inbox is, Coach, I'm this height, what size of a bike should I buy? What, what? sticker size so this is the normal questions that we normally get now so we're just going to be discussing to you in a very quick really really quick uh, um, episode how do we decide on the bike fit adjustments how do we design made to measure frames what influences us or what are the factors that make us decide what design of a bike should be applicable for a certain specific uh, clientele or a customer so we'll, we'll give you some insights that you can uh, take home on your own DIY uh, learning or experiment but I just want to stress out that there are a lot of ways to find a solution to one problem there's on, there's no one solution to one problem so how do you decide bike sizing or bike fitting or you can say uh, biomechanics. You've noticed in all our videos that we started to just veer away from template software or computers where everything is measured and then based on what the software says, you have to change the uh, position of the rider. This is more difficult right now because some of the bikes that are offered in the market right now are integrated, so integrated stem, everything is full internal, so you can only do so much with the bike. The most that you can do is just adjust the saddle for app and up and down. Aside from that, there's nothing else that you can do. So if you already have a bike, maybe you can do this test at home or if you have not bought a bike yet, maybe you can have a good discussion with your local bike shop and sit down and make you both understand what you're looking for. Because at the end of the day, bikes right now are an investment. You know, uh, money don't grow on trees, so be smart about it. So. When we design made-to-measure bikes or when we bike fit, we always focus on the most basic foundation, which is posture. And you'll always hear that on all our videos that posture is the most important part of this whole game. It's like a jungle. But your posture is rather unique because you can dictate what is the most efficient cycling posture that would give you the most optimum balance of power, sustainability, lower heart rate, and all that stuff, okay? So what am I talking about? So for example, I'll give you a short example. Imagine this is your saddle on a bike. When you wanna bend down, just bend, just try to go with me, follow me. When you see me bending down like this, you would see now that my butt is moving backwards relative to my metatarsal or my foot, okay? Let's just say foot. From this straight, you would see that this butt goes backward to have that balance. This balance now with my hands down is the perfect posture with my back unstressed. Because we always hear it from, from a lot of our friends after a long ride, they have lower back pain, lower back spasm, neck pain, numb fingers. So on this position, you would see that the shoulders get dropped. Now imagine I want to hold on to the uh, hoods. All I got to do is just bend my elbows 90 degrees. And you've heard uh, that 90 degree joke, right? But it's true. When I do this, this should be where my hoods are. Now let's just make it uh, put the challenge a little bit further. I'm going to bend my knee now to mimic me pedaling. So when I do this, the only way I can maintain my balance, there you go, is for my elbow to brush here and I can hold this forever without without even a bike beside me so this is now my optimum posture that will dictate my top tube and my stem this one okay now if I want to go to the drops all I gotta do that's the drops this is the hoods this is the aero bar hoods drops so you see that pivot here because now everything is concentrated on my core. Now, what's the other side of the equation? 
let's just say this is one of those stressful weights, okay? This is eight kilograms. I'm gonna put it here. Just imagine my top tube is longer and my stem is longer. I'm just gonna put it here a little bit. There you go. Now you end up having to reach for it. So I'm gonna reach for it here because I can't reach it anymore. I'm gonna move my saddle forward, which most people do. When you move your saddle forward, now you're tipping, right? Now all of a sudden, to keep my balance, I have to start activating my calves, my glutes, my lower back, and then I hold on to this. Now it's too far away, and for me to have a 90 degree elbow, I'm already stressed now. Try it out at home. And for me to survive, what I have to do if I go to my made to measure bike or bike fitted bike, I have to now bring this closer. Now I can hold this, no stress. And I can do this again, no stress. And I can put it on the drops, no stress. Hoods, no stress. But if I put this a little bit longer, there you go! Now! Whoa, shit. <laughs> okay. You got the picture, okay? So hopefully that episode gives you an idea how we decide on made-to-measure bikes and how we biomechanically correct people. We just have to find that sweet spot where your center of gravity is right on the spot that it takes away almost 80% of the stress from your muscles. Thank you very much. Just give us a phone call. Message us if you have any questions. Have you ever experienced that awkward moment when you stand up when everything seems to be just feels awkward? So here's the uh, quick video on the relationship of shoulder and head posture when you're standing up. So keep your head steady, shoulders steady, bring them down and at the same time keep your wrist relax they should be the one playing with the bike not your shoulders if you want to go aero look forward pull back on the handlebars while your knees are lifting up this will activate the core guaranteed and then uh, make your elbows as low as possible closer to the ground almost touching your knees you sh should see this all the time from the european pelotons but never forget to always look forward okay your core is very important in this project because it will guarantee that more torque will be produced when you want to go faster. Enjoy your ride, CRZ Nation. So, um, Singapore. We'll see you in Singapore. <laughs>